What's more deadly to morale than a speeding bullet? More powerful than hope? Able to demolish big ideas with a single syllable? With trademark ideals like discouragement, cynicism, and disagreement, disguised as mild-mannered normal person, a nope person fights an unending battle of hopelessness and despair. Do you have a no person in your life? Someone who just shuts off and is 100% fine to disagree and walk away without even hearing your point of view? Well, today, let's figure out how to turn a no person into a problem solver. Hi, I'm Brandon, co-founder of Life Secret Sauce, where we teach motivated professionals how to fast track their careers, increase social confidence, and live an incredible life by leveraging the social skills that we should have learned in school, like becoming a storyteller, reading personality types, and nailing first impressions, rather than memorizing chess strategies. Did you know that after each person has moved three times, there are 121 possible combinations of how that game can unfold? Um, no thanks. I'll stick to backgammon. Thank you very much. Now, anyway, what you just saw there was me being a no person. Now, I'm not really a no person on chess. I can fianchito like a boss. Oh, you don't know that move? Go check Wikipedia and then come back here, you hear? Now, in Dealing with People That You Can't Stand by Drs. Brinkman and Kirshner, they write that dealing with a no person, the goal is to move from fault finding toward problem solving, from stagnation towards innovation, from decline towards improvement. Now, you may not be able to stop the flood of negativity completely, but you can succeed in turning back the tide to its proper course. So how is this done? Step one, if you can't beat them, join them. Now, when faced with this behavior, resist the temptation to try to push them into the positive. Rather, it's best to try to find if their criticisms have merit or to challenge their thinking. Don't argue and escalate to a I'm right, you're wrong type of discussion, but instead, go ahead and lament in their negativity. Trying to convince a no person to be positive is like battling quicksand. The harder you struggle, the deeper you sink. Step two, leave the door open. Now, no people can be extremely stubborn. They don't want to see the light and pushing them towards it is probably not going to do you much good. Instead, give them an out and use a bit of reverse psychology. If they shut down with your idea, you can respond with, well, if you change your mind, let us know. Or, when you think of a solution, go ahead and get back to me. Or, why don't you think about this and then get back to me when you have a great idea. See, being a bit dismissive to their no attitude just might be enough to jolt them into action. Number three, use polarity. Now, there are two ways to do this. Think about that, polarity, one, two. Anyway, number one, take the wind out of their negativity sails by bringing up the worst possible scenario before they're able to. Or, number two, agree with their hopelessness of the situation and then take it one step further by exaggerating everything a little bit more. This may cause them to adjust and realize that things really aren't so bad. Number four, give acknowledgement. Many times no behavior is standard for perfectionists because it's a focus on the mistakes and flaws of the task at hand. So use their negative feedback as it's meant to be helpful. Appreciate them for having such high standards, for their willingness to speak up, and for their concern over the little details. Dealing with no people can be a time-consuming process, so seek them out early rather than getting blocked halfway through a project. Create an ally with them and then see what they may think are the main roadblocks or difficulties. And if all else fails, go ahead and try some good old-fashioned reverse psychology. If their instinct is to play devil's advocate, be a step ahead and ask them for the opposite of what you want and then measure their reaction. It can be tough dealing with no people and that negativity isn't quite fun to be around. But understand where they're coming from. Use questions and planning to adapt your approach and turn their no into a problem that they can solve. And that's a wrap. If you know someone that could use some help dealing with difficult people, go ahead and be a pal. Send them this link. Uh, they'll thank you for it. And we will too because sharing is caring. And let us know your favorite way of dealing with nope people in the comment section below. Don't forget, it's currently open enrollment for our brand new course, Millennial Magnetism, a step-by-step -step program to help you unleash your inner awesome and fast track your life. So go ahead and click on the description. All the information is below as well. Lastly, if you like what we're putting down, click subscribe there in the corner, there in the corner, so that you never miss a video. You've got us in month on Mondays and Fridays, and our brand new expert series is coming out on Wednesdays. 
Like I said, please subscribe, comment, like, give us a high five. It only takes a second for you. It's a click of a mouse, but it literally means the world to us. As always, you can check us out on the web, lifesecretsauce.com. Sign up for our newsletter, and we can bring the awesome right to your inbox. But until next time, ciao for now.